In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Adobe Express. This will be a beginner's tutorial, and I'll walk you through and show you all of the features that you need to know as a beginner, and I'll give you a basic overview. At the end of this, you'll be able to create your own designs with Adobe Express. Now, Adobe Express is a web-based application similar to Canva. So if you've used Canva, you'll probably pick up Adobe Express quite easily. Now, Adobe Express is all web-based. They have a free plan and a premium plan. I'm gonna explain how you can use the free plan and most things that I cover in this video will be using the free plan. So first to get to Adobe Express, just go and Google it. So head over to Google, just Google Adobe Express and it then should be the first one. You can click on it. You then just need to create a free account with Adobe and here you can see you can get Adobe Express for free. Right now they have a Black Friday deal on, so you can use the premium plan without actually having to add any credit card, but usually you just can use the free plan. So get Adobe Express free. Now what you can do from here is you can essentially create designs from templates or you can create designs from scratch. So on the home page, it's gonna show you all your recent designs. Now this is just a quick and easy way to get back to your designs. You have a more in-depth view of your designs. If you go to your stuff, you'll see all of your designs. Here though, we've got your content. You can upload files and videos and create from those files and videos. Now, what I would recommend if you're a bit confused and a bit overwhelmed is I would actually go to browse templates. Here you can actually decide what you're actually trying to create because you need obviously a project and a outcome in mind. Like, do you want to create an Instagram post? Do you want to create a video? Do you want to create a poster, a flyer? Perhaps you want to create like an advertisement for social media. You can do this all in Adobe Express. So just to get some inspiration, you can go to the popular templates. You can go layouts. And here, if you keep going, you've got flyer, poster, logo, Instagram carousel, YouTube thumbnail, reports, resumes, and obviously it keeps going and going. Facebook profile cover. For this video, let's just say we'll create like a Facebook or an Instagram square post. This will work. So I'm going to either click on one of these designs if I like them, or if I want to see all of the Instagram square posts, we can click view all. Not only can we do that, we can also search. So if we wanted to just search here for Instagram, and we could just search Instagram square post and that would load up the Instagram square post dimensions. And from here, if we go to templates on the left, you can see all of these templates. Now, if you've only got the free plan, click on free and you can see all of these free templates. What I would recommend you do is go to search templates and just type in Instagram. And then we've got all of the free Instagram square post templates. So now let's go ahead and create from one of these. So this is obviously going to depend on what you're trying to achieve. Let me just find one that I can explain how to use Adobe Express with. So let's just use for this example, this one, because this one looks pretty cool. So this is an Instagram post for a burger restaurant. So you can click on the template and it will load it in. And now you've got the editor, right? Now this template is made up of text. You've got shapes, you've got the background elements, you've got the image and you've got a button. So everything that you see on screen can be edited. So I've closed out of this on the left. Now what we can do, we can edit anything. So let's say we don't have a burger shop. We actually want to put an image in the middle here of, I don't know, let's just add a random image. So we'll actually click on this image and I don't want this burger. So I'm going to click delete on the keyboard or you can right click and click on the delete icon. We're going to get rid of this order button because I don't want it. So I'm going to click, I'm going to click delete. We're also going to click delete on the shape. Now let's add our own image in here. So what we want to do is we want to first add like a circle shape because I want to add the image inside of it. So I'm going to go to elements and what we can do is we can add a shape or a frame. So I'm going to search for frame and let's add a frame here. So let's go to design assets and we'll add like a circle frame. So let's add this yellow circle. So this fits quite nicely with the theme. So we'll add this yellow circle. And what we can do, we can also change the color of it as well. So if you go to adjustments, you can change the color, you can change the saturation, or you can just change it here. So if you click on the image, you should be able to change it. So I'm gonna use the warmth and the saturation to change it. There we go, so we've brought the brightness down. It's now kind of like the same color as the actual theme. Obviously, you can play around with this and you can change things to your liking. Obviously, you're never gonna be 100% used to Adobe Express, you're never going to be a pro. So always changing stuff around and there's always some stuff to learn. You can change the blend here as well, but nonetheless, we're going to keep this image here in the middle. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my image because I'm going to show you how you can upload your own image as well. So go to upload and you can then upload an image. And now I've got an image of the beach which we're going to upload. Now you can upload as many images as you want. You can upload any images or any files, any videos you want and you can add them to your designs. And once you've uploaded them it's just going to be in your stuff. And then here if you go images, here you see all of the images you've ever uploaded. It is going to save these and you can use these on all projects. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop this image to a circle. We're going to put it inside there. That's what I'm kind of trying to do. So we'll right click, we'll go crop image and we'll crop it to a circle here. That looks pretty good. And then we'll go ahead and click enter. There we go. So now we've got a circle image and we'll resize this and drag it kind of like in the middle. Obviously you need to get creative with this and you can edit all of these different elements. Now let's change the text because obviously we don't want it saying special burger. Let's put here, go to the beach. So we'll get rid of the special text by clicking on it and delete. And then if we double click on the text, which is already there, and we can change the text tools down here. But first I'm just going to put go to the, and then I'm going to put beach under it. So let's double click on the text and we'll highlight it. And we can actually bring the font down on the left. So all of the text edit tools will be on the left. So we'll put here, go to the, and then what I'm going to do is right click. I'm going to copy the element make sure this is centered and then we'll right click and paste it. So now we can get a copy of that text and here we can use the same font really and put beach. Go to the beach. Okay, so this is coming along quite nicely. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of the beach again by highlighting the text and all of your text tools again are on the left. Here you've got fill, we'll change that to white. I actually don't like this circle, so I'm just going to click on it. We're going to delete and we're just going to keep the image of the beach which we are going to enlarge like so. Okay, so that looks a bit better, doesn't it? I'm gonna bring these little lines here and we're gonna move these down. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna delete this text because it's not necessary. And you can see the design is starting to come alive and you can do this with every element. And now I obviously can't explain how to create the design specific to you, but you do have to play around with it. You've got all of your uploaded files here on uploads. So if you go to upload, you can upload your files. If you ever want to change the template, it'll be in templates here. You can then just change it. Now you've got media and this is where your photos and stuff are going to be as well. You've got text if you want to add more text elements here. And then on the bottom left, you've got all of your elements that you can add. You can add all of these different design elements and design assets. Well, if you click view all, you'll see them. You've got 3D shapes, you've got abstract shapes. And I couldn't create a whole video explaining all of these. Well, this geometric stuff is quite cool. Let's click on this and we'll add that. I do think that it is missing some stuff, to be completely honest with you. It's missing the feature to actually change the color of an object. Unless I'm missing it, it some things are hard to use if you're used to Canva. And But have a play around with it. You can create really good designs with it. If you then want to download and save your design, click download in the top right hand corner and you can choose your file format. For me, a PNG is best for an Instagram image. We can then click download and it will ask you where to download it to. Obviously we want it going in my downloads. And then here is the image. We could upload this straight to Instagram. It works, it's a good image, it's used from a template. So that's basically an overview of how you can use it. Again, you can do many more complex things. You can edit videos, you can use an AI image generator. You can do a lot of stuff, but thank you for watching. Those were the basics. I hope they helped. Comment down below if you've got any specific questions and I'll make some videos on your questions.